In this video, we're going to learn how to configure the CAIDMS Server Windows ODBC driver. First, start the Microsoft ODBC Administrator tool from the CAIDMS Server Program Group. Start by clicking on the System DSN tab. Then click on the Add button to create a new data source. Click on the RDMS driver, then click Finish. Give the data source a name. This can be any name or the name of the RDMS central version, the CV. Enter the name of the dictionary that has the definitions of the tables you want to access. Next, enter the name of the server. This can be any name or the node name of the CV. The default schema is optional and can be left blank. There are also some advanced options that you can set by clicking on the system or current buttons. We'll let these default. Click on the help button or check the manual to find out what the advanced options are. Next, click on the Server tab to configure the server to connect to. The server is the IDMS central version running on the mainframe. Enter the node name of the CV. This is defined in the sysgen in the system ID parameter of the system statement. Next, select the communications protocol. There are two methods to communicate with IDMS on the mainframe. CCI, which requires you to install the CCI Windows component to connect via CCI on the mainframe. And RDMS, which is a direct connection to RDMS on the mainframe using TCP IP. To use TCP IP, you need to define in RDMS a TCP IP line and a listener P term. We'll select RDMS. The host name is the name or IP address of the TCP IP stack where RDMS is running. We'll use NVS1. Enter the port number the listener p -term is listening on, on the mainframe. On our system it's port 3765. To use SSL, the Secure Sockets layer, click on the SSL checkbox. And then use the SSL tab to provide SSL information. We won't use SSL, so go back to the Server tab. That's all you need to configure the data source, so click on Apply. You may be requested by CA Technical Support to enable tracing. This is done in the Log Options tab. Some useful options are ODBC, SQL, DLL, Util and DTS. DTS JCLI is for TCP IP communications. DTS CCI is for CCI communications. The file name is where the trace file will go. Now we have set up the data source, we can go back to the data source tab to test the data source. Click on test. This will test the data source by connecting to IDMS on the mainframe. Enter the user ID and password, then click on connect. This shows it was successful. Click OK and close the Connect window. Then click OK to close the configuration window. The data source is now ready to use. For more information, contact CA Support. Thank you for watching.